The M3 MacBook Pro, Apple's current flagship Pro laptop that was announced in October 2023. It's been available for about 6 months, and I just picked one up for myself to upgrade from my M1 MacBook Pro. I mean sure, some of you may see it as too soon for an upgrade, but back when I bought it, I wasn't intending to do video editing or Photoshop. Now that I've started creating these videos, I ran into an issue where my MacBook keeps freezing up and in some cases crashing. I'll get more into it later, but for now let's jump into the unboxing. With the MacBook out of the box, I'll go ahead and speed up the setup process. Just like that, it's done. Starting with the 2021 14-inch MacBook Pro, I'll try comparing how each MacBook handles specific tasks in Final Cut Pro. Like adding effects to multiple entities in one spot, importing new footage, and jumping between full screen a few times. Now that I have Final Cut Pro open, the first thing I did was ensure it has finished rendering the project to ensure I have as much CPU, GPU, and RAM possible available. I'll start by moving this chunk of photos and text around, then pasting a fading effect to each clip that's copied to my clipboard. And remove the applied effect from the midpoint that contains a keyframe that's set to move and resize specific parts. Let's see what happens when we try to play back this section. It starts to lag out a bit and the video viewer went black. The screen recording for the second part probably won't save as the MacBook has become unresponsive. And the trackpad also lost haptic feedback. Yep, I'd say the MacBook has definitely crashed. Long behold, the screen went black a few minutes later and I was greeted with this message upon reboot. Jumping over to the M3 MacBook Pro, I'll be trying the same tasks that were done to see if it lags out or crashes. What got to the M1 MacBook Pro was jumping out of full screen while it was still trying to render a chunk of text entities. Now that Final Cut Pro is open, I'll let it do its thing first to render the project to maximize the overall performance. As some clips in the project are missing from the M1 MacBook crashing, I'll have to improvise to try and push it to its limits. The first thing I'm trying is deleting a bunch of clips, then bringing them back while removing the remaining fading effects. While it's trying to render the most recent edits, I'll jump in and out of full screen a few times, mimicking if I were about to drag in new clips from Finder. Playing back the footage real quick, there was no lag or blackout. It certainly handled this way better as this was the moment the M1 MacBook Pro crashed. In the way of performance when it comes to video editing, the M3 MacBook Pro certainly seems to better handle more demanding tasks. Looking at some of the more basic features starting with the display, there is no change going from the 2021 Pros to the late 2023 Pros. They both contain the same Liquid Retina XDR display with ProMotion or in other words an OLED display. It's what gives the color popping images with HDR content along with inky blacks, while ProMotion has a higher display refresh rate at 120 frames per second. Moving to the speakers when it comes to the quality for a laptop, I can certainly say it puts out crisp audio with decent bass. Mercy only breeds defeat. But I will help you overcome this weakness. There is no change with the types of exterior ports, but there should be a noticeable difference in battery life during everyday use, where its capacity has increased by 5 hours. 
It will be interesting to see how it performs long term, but for now I'd appreciate your support by giving a thumbs up and subscribing so I can continue to make these videos for you guys. With that, I'll catch you in the next video.